Greetings friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Alicia, and in today's video, I am bringing you a Target grocery haul. I'm gonna show you all the things that I picked up today, and also showing you all of the meals that I'm going to be making with all this food. So let's get right into it. All right, first stop is down here, some celery. This is actually gonna be going into a beef and barley soup that I found on Joe Cook's website. I really love her blog, in fact, I think all of the recipes I'm making are from her blog. So I'll be posting, linking them all down below for you guys. But we're gonna have like a soup night tonight. We're gonna be going out in the backyard, watching a movie, setting up the fire pit, I believe. So that is going on. I also got some garlic bread from Target, the little bakery area. I was hoping to find like, just like those really thin baguettes, like to dip in the soup, but garlic bread is just as good. They were totally out of wedged Parmesan. So I just got this up. I'm not a fan of already shredded cheese like pre-shredded because I know that sometimes this is harder to melt actually when it when it goes into things but this is all that they had so that's what I got all right and like I mentioned we're gonna be going in the backyard with a fire pit movie I've got some jumbo marshmallows I was hoping to find like the little like peeps like Halloween type of marshmallows because we are gonna be watching like a kid's scary movie. We're watching um, Curse of the Were Rabbit. It's a Wallace and Gromit, Gromit film. If you guys have never seen that claymation type of video before, it is so, so good. We love Wallace and Gromit. So anyway, we're gonna be making some s'mores out back. I have some stew meat right here. This is one pound of stew meat. That is going into that beef and barley soup. I always like having fresh vegetables on hand. So I have some green beans and then a bag of cauliflower and broccoli. I have have one just regular cucumber it's not even an English cucumber for lunches next week because I am gonna be going to Costco and I love to get their English cucumbers so I just needed to get the one I have some white rice I always like to have white rice in my freezer to make any type of like Mexican rice dish or for Asian dishes some pearled barley that is for the beef and barley soup tonight some spring mix I always just like to have any type of spring mix on hand I have half a bag of spinach left in my fridge so I decided just to go for the spring mix two bags of frozen vegetables this mixed vegetable bag is going into a shepherd's pie actually I think it should be called a cottage pie because cottage pie is more for ground beef and shepherd's is for ground lamb so I'm making a cottage pie and then I always just like to have extra frozen vegetables on hand this ranch seasoning mix is going into I think it's like an instant pot ranch chicken dish which looks actually really similar to the creamy chicken goodness that I make on my blog in fact I'll link that recipe down below for you too I thought it would be fun to kind of mix it up so I'm gonna be trying out her recipe in the instant pot if you follow me on my Instagram I was having some major issues she was recording the Instant Pot. I did not realize how long it could take for the Instant Pot to warm up. Someone had actually left me a message on my Instagram saying that theirs actually took 22 minutes to actually start pressurizing, which is crazy. I thought it was supposed to be like instantaneous. I also picked up just a little taco seasoning packet. I always like to have that for impromptu, like either chicken tacos or ground beef tacos or burritos. All right, this salsa, you guys, is so good. I actually got this several months ago. Um, and it's just in a random like pickup order we needed some salsa and this was actually all that was available I prefer getting the the Bobby Salazar brand but this stuff was so so delicious it's a Casa Sanchez um, salsa it's medium so it's not super spicy but it does have a bit of a kick to it so if you ever see this grab it it is so good so for that cottage pie of course, we're gonna make some mashed potatoes and then whatever is left over, I'll just make some like breakfast potatoes or something on the weekend. I picked up a bunch of bananas. For whatever reason, we are going through them so quick. I also got some mandarin oranges. A big bag of onions. The price was pretty good and I think they were on sale through the app so I did decide to pick that up. I also got a bag of the four count of avocados. I have some chips back here. I have some pita chips and then some tortilla chips. I decided to get two gallons of milk. I was gonna get, usually I like to get a lot of milk whenever I go actually grocery shopping but because I'm going to Costco, I know I'm gonna be sucking up on milk next week. Some Honeycrisp apples, not only for us to snack on, but while I was perusing Instagram, I saw this delicious looking recipe for apple cobbler. My hubby is a like sucker for all things cobbler. So I don't think I've ever made an apple cobbler though before. So I'm gonna give that a try. It looks really, really delicious and super fall related, which by the way, I am gonna be coming out with a fall cooking video coming up soon. So if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. I would love to have you guys around. 
For those pita chips, I picked up some roasted garlic hummus. A carton, this is 32 ounces of beef stock for the soup. My younger son, he's so cute. He remembered last year that we had a treat charcuterie plate for Halloween. And he kept saying, Mom, last time, remember you made that, that big board of, of sweets and treats? And I was hoping he'd forget, <laughs> but he did not forget. He asked if, he, if I could make them one again. But I'm just doing like the very small version of that charcuterie. So I picked up these fun little festive Halloween cookies. We'll serve that tonight with our s'mores, which I know that's a lot of sugar, but. And then I got some cereals. My kids were actually asking if they could just have straight up cornflakes, and I said, okay, that's fine with me. So I got them some cornflakes. I also got some Honey Nut Cheerios for them as well, just in case. I also got some ham. I prefer getting the ham from Costco or like the turkey, but this is totally fine too. The egg noodles are for the Instant Pot Creamy Ranch Chicken Dish. I already half eaten bag of cold fish because my daughter was with me and of course, you know, you get hungry when you're shopping. So I opened this up for her, she's had some. Some diced green chilies, that is going into the Instant Pot Chicken Dish, along with the cream of chicken soup, that's going in there as well. Some graham crackers for s'mores tonight. So this is new to me, I think I've seen it there before, but I've never picked it up. It's the Siete Brie Fried Black Beans. I thought this would be great for like chicken tacos or burritos one night. I've mentioned this before on any of my other Target videos that I love the coconut milk the Good & Gather brand from Target. I honestly think it's like the best brand of coconut milk out there. Love it so, so much. And then the very last thing is some sesame oil. This has been on my list like for the past two to three weeks, but I actually haven't gone grocery shopping in the past, honestly, three weeks, I think. So it's just, it's just something that I always need to have on hand for whenever we make like Asian dishes. This is just something that really elevates the dish. All right guys, that is it for this Target haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel on your way out. I would really appreciate the support. And we will see you in the next video. Bye guys. I can get